Greetings! Manta Ray 79 here! And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Car Fight Vanguard Dear Days Part 51. Alrighty, let's get started pressing the A button now. Loading game and proceeding! And here we are in the main menu. For those of you who watched my previous video, I would spent that time progressing further into the game's story. But before we continue with that, in today's episode, I'm going to be showcasing the recently released Ratgate's DSS-04 Strike Deck Set Messiah. And alrighty, so let's get started. Selecting the deck, entering edit deck, and off we go! Here we are in the edit deck menu, and like I just mentioned before in today's episode, I'm going to be showcasing the Brad Gates DSS-04 Strike Deck Set Messiah. Okay, then let's begin. First, the Grade 3 lineup. Alright, let's start with the deck's Grade 3 lineup. So for the Grade 3's in this deck, we are playing the right deck, Grade 3, Alter Ego, Messiah. Skills, first skill, auto as a vanguard, generation brick 2. If you active, if you have two or more face up G units in total on your vanguard or G zone, when any locked card is unlocked, cost, soul blast 1. If the cost is paid, draw one card. Second skill, auto as a vanguard. When your G units strike during your turn, cost, counter blast 1 and lock a rear guard. If the cost and paid, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and lock it. Choose one of your vanguards and it gets plus 5,000 power until end of turn. Locked cards cannot do anything. They are unlocked and turn face up as stand at the end of their owner's turn. So for Alter Ego Messiah, it's the main grade 3 to ride this deck. Its skills, the first skill. When the conditions of the first skill are met and you pay the cost, you can then draw more cards to restock your hand with. And the second skill, when striding on top of Alter Ego Messiah, by paying the cost, not only do you get to lock one of your opponent's rear guards, you can also give your vanguard a little extra power to work with. And okie dokie, the Great 3, Alter Ego, Messiah. We have 4 in the deck, 1 in the right deck, 3 in the main deck. Next up, the Great 3, Astrolabe Dragon. Skills, first skill, continuous as a rear guard. Generation Break 2. Active if you have two or more face up G units in total on your Vanguard or G zone. During your turn, if any player has a locked card, this unit gets plus 10,000 power. Second skill, Auto. When this card is discarded from hand for the cost of Stride, you may draw a card. So for Astrolabe Dragon, a support card for the Messiah deck, with skills the first skill, as long as the conditions of the first skill are met, Astrolabe can th then can serve as a potential 23,000 point attacker for your front row. And the second skill, when paid for the cost of strike, you can draw more cards to restock your hand with. And alright, the grade 3, Astrolabe Dragon. We have 3 in the deck. And of that, we just about covered the deck's grade 3 lineup. Next, let's get on to the deck's grade 2 lineup. And now, for the deck's grade 2 lineup. For the grade 2's in this deck, we are playing the right deck, Grade 2, Awakening Messiah. Skills, first skill, auto from the soul. When a Grade 4 with Messiah in its card name is placed on your Vanguard Circle, you may call this card to Rear Guard. If you call the card, Soul Charge 1. Second skill, auto. When this unit is unlocked during your turn, choose one of your units in the same column as this unit, and it gets plus 10,000 power until end of turn. So for Awakening Messiah, it's the main Grade 2 to ride this deck. Its skills, the first skill, Wall the Soul. When you place a Great 4 Messiah onto your Vanguard Circle, not only do you get the Superior Call Awakening Messiah as a potential front row attacker or rear guard whose skill you wish, you wish to take advantage of later in the game, but you can also build up your soul for later Soul Blast. And the second skill, when the conditions of the second skill are met, you can give one unit on your field, either Awakening Messiah or a unit in the same column as him, an additional power boost to make it easier for the attack to either pressure or finish off your opponent with. And affirmative, the Grade 2 Awakening Messiah. We have one in the right deck. Next up, the Grade 2 Kalazar Claim. Skills, first skill, continuous as a rear guard. During your turn, if any player has a locked card, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. 
Second skill, auto. As a rear guard, at the end of the battle, soon attacks. If you have an Alter Ego Messiah Crest, cost, retire this unit. If the cost is paid, look at the top three cards of your deck. Choose up to one unit card with grade equal to or less than your Vanguard from among them. Put it onto an open rear guard circle as a locked card and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Locked cards cannot do anything. They are unlocked and turned face up as stand at the end of their owner's turn. So for Kalazar Clane, a support card for the Messiah deck, if it skills the first skill, as long as the conditions of the first skill are met, your Kalazar Clane then can serve as a potential 15,000 more attacker for your front row. Second skill, after attacking, by paying the cost, you can then have the chance to replace your Kalazar Clane with a new card to perhaps either a front row attacker, back row booster, a rear guard whose skill we should take advantage of later in the game, or simply to have a locked card ready in your field to make use of, of other skills. And confirm the Great 2 Kalazar Clane. We have Born a Deck. Next up, the Great 2 Arrestor Messiah. Skill Auto as a rear guard, Generation Break 1. Active if you have one or more face up G units in total on your Vanguard or G zone. When this unit attacks, if you have a Vanguard of Messiah in its card name, this unit gets plus 5,000 power until end of battle. At the, and at the end of the battle, lock this unit. Locked cards cannot do anything. They are unlocked and turn face up as stand at the end of their owner's turn. So for Arrest the Messiah, another support card for the Messiah deck with its skill. When attacking while the conditions of the skill are met, your Messiah then can serve as a potential 15,000 point attacker for the front row. And then at the end of the battle, you have the chance to lock Messiah onto your rear guard to use its locked state for any other skills you should take advantage of later in that turn. And alrighty, the Great 2, Arrest the Messiah. We have four in the deck. And if that, we just about covered the deck's Great 2 lineup. Next, let's get on to deck's Great 1 lineup. And now for the deck's Great 1 lineup. For the Great 1s in this deck, we are playing Ride Deck, Great 1, Asleep Messiah. Skill Auto. When this unit is placed by riding from Neon Messiah, draw a card, and you get an Alter Ego Messiah Crest. So for Asleep Messiah, it's the main great one to ride this deck with skill. When riding on top of Neon Messiah, not only do you get to draw a card, but you can also deploy an Alter Ego Messiah Crest, which is one of the main cards to play in this deck. And okie dokie, the great one, Asleep Messiah. We have one in the ride deck. Next up, the great one. Flowers in Vacuum, Cosmo Reef. Skills, first skill, continuous as a sentinel. You may only have up to four cards of continuous sentinel in the deck. Second skill, auto. When this unit is put in the guardian circle, choose one of your units, and it cannot be hit until end of battle. If your hand has two more cards, choose a card from your hand and discard it. So for Cosmo Reef, it's a perfect guard for the Brant Gate Nation. Like any other perfect guard in the Card Fight Vanguard trading card game, it features the same skill and activation. When used to guard with and discarding one card from hand, you can block an enemy attack. But it also features an ability unique to all perfect guards in the D standard format, which, which is, when used to guard with while you have less than two cards in hand, you will not have to pay the usual discard one cost, making Cosmo Reef a potential no cost perfect guard in desperate last resort situations. And affirmative, the great one, Flowers and Vacuum, Cosmo Reef. We have four in the deck. Next up, the Great One, Destiny Dealer. Skills, first skill, continuous from the hand. While you are paying the cost for Stride, this card may be discarded as a Great Three. Second skill, action from the hand. If you have an Alter Ego Messiah Crest, cost, discard this card. If the cost is paid, search your deck or drop for up to one Great Three card of Messiah in this card name, reveal it, put it into your hand, and if you search your deck, shuffle your deck. So for Destiny Dealer, a support card for the Messiah deck, if it skills the first skill, when used to, to pay for the cost of Stride, Destiny Dealer alone can be used for that Stride cost, making it a good way to save up your hand for other uses. And the second skill, if you choose to activate Destiny Dealer's skill from your hand, you can then choose to search your deck for a Grade 3 Messiah to either to pay for Stride costs or for any other reason you wish to have an additional Grade 3 Messiah in your, in your hand for. And confirm, the Great One, Destiny Dealer. We have four in the deck. 
And next up, the Great One, Sacrifice Messiah. Skill, auto as a rear guard, generation break one. Active if you have one or more face-up G units in total on your Vanguard or G zone. At the end of the battle, this boosted. If you have a Vanguard Messiah in its card name, cost, lock this unit. If the cost and pay, choose one of your Vanguards, and it gets plus 5,000 power until end of turn. Then, if you have no face-up cards in your damage zone, counter charge one. Locked cards cannot do anything. They are unlocked and turn face up as stand at the end of their owner's turn. So for Sacrifice Messiah, another support card for the Messiah deck with its skill. After boosting, while meeting the conditions of its skill are in paying the cost, not only do you get to power up your Vanguard with a little extra power, but as long as the secondary condition is met, you can also refund your Counter Blast for later skills. And all right, the great one, Sacrifice Messiah. We have four in the deck. Next up, the Great One, Herbic Claw. Skills, first skill, continuous as a guardian. If you have a Vanguard Messiah in its card name, this unit gets plus 5,000 shield. Second skill, auto as a rear guard. When your other unit is unlocked, you may put this unit into your soul. So for Herbic Claw, another support card for the Messiah deck. If it skills the first skill when used to guard with, while the conditions of the first skill are met, you can then turn your Herbic Claw into a potential 10,000 point shield on its own. Second skill, auto as a rear guard. When your other unit is unlocked, you may put this unit into your soul. So for the second skill, it's a good way to stock up your soul for later soul blasts. And with that, Herbic Claw, we have four in the deck. And we've just about finished covering the deck's great one lineup. Next, let's get on to the deck's great zero lineup. And now for the great zero lineup. For the great zeros in this deck, we are playing Right deck, Great Zero, Neon Messiah. Skill, Auto. When this unit is rolled upon, if you went second, draw a card. So for Neon Messiah, it's the starting unit of this deck. Like any other starting unit in the D standard format, it features the same skill and activation. When written on the top up, if you're the second to go in the game, draw one card. And so, the Great Zero, Neon Messiah. We have one in the right deck. And with that, we just about covered the deck's Great Zero lineup. Next, let's get on to the deck's Trigger lineup. And now, for the deck's Trigger lineup. For the triggers in this deck, we are playing... The Great Zero, Star Dragon DD Infinitude Elder Breath, Over Trigger. Skill, Trigger, Additional Effect. Double the power and critical of all of your front row units until end of turn. Increase to double its power and critical when activated. So for Elder Breath, it's the Over Trigger for the Bradgate Nation. Like any other Over Trigger in the Card Fight Vanguard Trading Card game, it features the same skill and effect. Which is, when revealed during a drive check or damage check, you get 100 million power and draw a card. But it also features an ability unique to it alone. When revealed during your turn during a drive check, you can then double the power and critical of all front row units, Vanguard and Rearguard to get included. And, and then you'll be able to have an easier time to either to pressure or finish off your opponent with the increased power and critical this trigger provides. And okay, the Great Zero, Star Dragon DD Infinitude Elder Breath over trigger, we have one in the deck. And next, the Great Zero, Star Dr Aggression Dragon Critical Trigger, we have four in the deck. Next up, the Great Zero, Aberrant Gleam Dragon Draw Trigger, we have three in the deck. The Great Zero, Transforming Heavy Machinery, Heavy Constallion, Front Trigger. We have 4 in the deck. And then, the Great Zero, Alter Rate Spear Dragon, Heal Trigger. We have 4 in the deck. And with that, we just about covered the deck's trigger lineup. Next, let's get on to the deck's G-Zone. And now, for the G-Zone. For the cards in this G-Zone, we are playing the Great Four, Genesis Dragon, Exilux Messiah. Skills, first skill, this card can be put in your main deck. Second skill, Stride skill. Stride step, cost, discard a Great Three card Messiah in its card name from hand. If the cost is paid, stride this card on your Vanguard from face down. When you stride, your original Vanguard becomes a hard card, and this unit gets that card power and card name. At the end of the turn, return this unit face up. And the third skill, Auto, has a Vanguard, Generation Break 2. When this unit attacks, cost, Counter Blast 1. If the cost is paid, choose any number of, of any player's locked cards and unlock them. 
if you unlock the card, choose the same number of your rear guards as the number of cards unlocked by this ability and stand them. And until end of turn, all of your front row units get plus 10,000 power, and this unit gets plus 1 critical. So for Exodus Messiah, it's one of the G units to be played in this deck with its skills, the third skill. When your Vanguard Exodus Messiah attacks by paying the cost, you can then unlock as many of your of your either your opponent's locked cards for, to ready yourself for more attacks and as, as well. And then for every card unlocked by Exodus Messiah's skill, you can restand a rear guard, giving you more rear guards to either to attack with or boost with. And also, upon the activation of this skill, you can give all units in your front row, Vanguard and Rearguard included, plus 10,000 power, and your Vanguard gets plus one critical. So with Exos Messiah, a good way to not only unlock more cards for, for attacking, restand more cards for either for attacking or boosting, but also giving your attacking units a huge power boost and to give your Vanguard more critical to hide either to pressure or finish off your opponent with. And affirmative, the Great Four, Genesis Dragon, Exos Messiah. We have four in the deck. Next up, the Great Four. Genesis Dragon, Amnesty Messiah. Skills, first skill. This card cannot be put in your main deck. Second skill, Stride skill. Stride step, cost, choose one or more cards from hand the sum of their grades being three or greater and discard them. If the cost is paid, strike this card onto your Vanguard from face down. When you strike, your original Vanguard becomes a heart card and this unit gets, plus, gets that card po power and card name and at the end of the turn, return this unit face up. Third skill, Auto as a Vanguard. When this unit attacks, cost, counterblast one, and turn a card from your G zone face up. If the cost is paid, choose any n number of any player's locked cards and unlock them. Then choose one of your rear guards and it gets plus 5,000 power until end of turn for each card unlocked by this ability. So for Amnesty and Messiah, another one of the main G units to play in this deck with skills, the third skill. When attacking and paying the cost, you can then have the chance to unlock any, any number of locked cards from either player's field. Like for example, if you unlock on your own field, you'll be able to give yourself more rear guards to either to attack with or to boost with. And then after activating the skill, you can also give one rear guard on the field a huge power boost per the number of unlocked cards by the skill. And okie dokie, the Great Four, Genesis Dragon, Amnesty Messiah. We have four in the deck. And of that, the deck's been built. Card effects explained. So let's just get to. And of that, the deck was built. Card effects explained. So for the cards in this deck, we are playing four, grade three, Alter Ego Messiah. One, grade two, Awaking Messiah. One, grade one, Asleep Messiah. One, grade zero, Neon Messiah, starting unit. Three, grade three, Astrolabe Dragon. Four, grade two, Kalazar Klein. Four, grade two, Arrestor Messiah. Four, grade one, Flowers and Vacuum, Cosmo Reef. Four, grade one, Destiny Dealer. Four, grade one, Sacrifice Messiah. Four, grade one, Herbic Claw. And for the triggers in this deck, we are playing one, Over Trigger, Elder Breath. Four, Critical Triggers. Three, Draw Triggers. Four, Front Triggers. And four heal triggers. And for the G zone in this deck, we are playing four, grade four, Genesis Dragon, Exlex Messiah. And four, grade four, Genesis Dragon, Amnesty Messiah. And if that, the deck's been built, card effects explained. Now let's get on to changing the deck sleeves, going to change sleeves. Let's see, for the main deck sleeves, we're going to be using this, let's see, alright, using this Brant Gate Flag Sleeve is the main deck sleeve, selecting. And for the right deck sleeves, we're going to be using this, let's see, this White Vanguard Circle Sleeve for the right deck sleeve, there we go. And for the G-Zone sleeves, we're going to be using this 
here it is, this G-Unit back sleeve for the G-Unit sleeve, selecting G-Zone, and there we go. And we're done here, deck has been built, card is explained, and deck sleeves changed. Next, let's get on to testing out the deck. So leaving the edit deck menu and returning to main menu. And here we are in the main menu, going to test out the deck, so let's go over here to the fight menu. And selecting CPU fight, selecting the deck I just showcased, the Brent Gates DSS04 Stride Deck Set Messiah. Okie dokie, and let's get started, selecting deck, and now choosing the opponent. I'm gonna test this deck out on, let's see, I guess I'll test it out on, uh, let's see. All right, I'm gonna test it out on this opponent. Let's see. Yep, here we go. Kana Oyama, normal difficulty, and and the battle begins. Let's get started. And here we are in the fight. We're gonna decide who goes first. So, rock paper scissors shoot. Rock to rock one more time. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock to paper, I lose, going second. Drawing our starting hands, I got a front trigger, a perfect guard, a hermit claw, a destiny dealer, and a sacrifice messiah. Not a bad starting hand. Holding on to all normal units, just gonna redraw the trigger. Redraw! Yes, alter ego messiah! And my opponent goes first. She rides the great one, Mimish Azakir. And the turn, my turn. I draw. I ride from the right deck, a sleep messiah. For the right deck cost, I'm gonna. Let's see. I got a perfect guard, hermit claw, destiny dealer, sacrifice messiah, alter ego messiah, and a astrolabe dragon. All right. I'm gonna discard alter ego messiah and ride a sleep messiah. First, neon messiah skill. I draw one card and draw. And then here comes a Sleep Messiah skill. Deploying the Messiah Crest. Here we go. The Alter Ego Messiah Crest deployed onto the field. For skill, continuous, you can perform stride and cannot write grade 3 greater cards without Messiah in the card name. Second skill, continuous, the original power of all of your grade 3 cards of Messiah in their card names becomes 13,000, including hard cards. Third skill, continuous, during your turn, if you have a grade 3 or greater Vanguard of Messiah in its card name, all of your front row units gets plus 5,000 power for each face-up card in your G-Zone. And the fourth skill, Auto. At the end of your turn, unlock all of your opponent's locked cards and bind those units. All seem like pretty useful skills, so... The card I drew was, let's see... I drew Alter Ego Messiah and a Arrestor Messiah. Not a bad draw, so... First, I'm gonna activate Destiny Dealer's skill. I'm gonna discard Destiny Dealer and then search my deck or drop for Alter Ego Messiah. I choose to search from my deck, adding the last Alter Ego back to my hand. There we go. And now I'm gonna call, hmm, Sacrifice Messiah to the front row. That should be enough. And go into the battle phase. First up, my Vanguard Asleep Messiah attacks the Vanguard. Azakir, 8k to 8k. The attack goes through. Drive check. No trigger. Arrest your messiah. Not a bad draw. And boom. One damage to the opponent. Damage check. No trigger. Safe. Now one more attack. Sacrifice messiah. Attacks the vanguard. 8k to 8k. The attack goes through. And slash. Damage check. Yes. Critical trigger. Trigger wasted. Trigger effects wasted. And that's it for my turn. Now it's my opponent's turn. The crest skill, but nothing happens, so... Yep, that's the end of my turn. My opponent's turn. She rides. The Great Two, Mimish Rikishina. Skill of the Great One, superior call to the Weird Guard. And calling the Weird Guard, Melty. Melty skill. Calling a critical to the back row and drawing. And calling more Weird Guards to do Kayla. Okay, that's a really... Okay, that's something. Let's see. 16k from this side, 15 from Vanguard, and 18 from this one, not including triggers, so... I don't really have anything to guard with except for Herbic Claw, so just gonna let this attack go through. No guard. 
Here it comes! Ow! Damage! Damage! Check! Alright! Over trigger! I give all effects to my Vanguard! Now the attack cannot go through! And I drew another arrester! Attacking my rear guard, I cannot protect it, so no guard! Sorry, sacrifice! And twin drive, first check! Ah, Persona Ride! Lucky her! And... Goodbye, sacrifice Messiah! And... End of my opponent's turn! My turn! Stand and draw! I ride from the right deck, Awakening Messiah! For the right deck cost, I'm discarding... I have three copies of Arrest or So, discarding one, and... Ride! Awakening Messiah! Next, I call to the rear guards. Let's see, calling two Arrestor Messiahs to the front row. And one Herbic Claw to the back row. That ought to be enough. And on to battle phase. First up, my Vanguard attacks the Vanguard. 10k to 10k. Drive check. No trigger, another Herbic. Not a bad draw, and... Boom! One damage, damage check. No trigger, safe. Next, Arrestor Messiah on the right attacks the Vanguard. 10k to 10k. The attack goes through, and boom! One more damage, damage check. No trigger, perfect guard. Nice, one less card to worry about. And now for the final attack of the turn. Boosted by Herbic Claw. Arrestor attacks her Vanguard. 18k to 10k. And guards have a critical trigger, 25k, the attack is blocked, but still does a pretty good turn, so end of my turn, now it's my opponent's turn. Crest activated, nothing happens. My opponent's going to ride to the Great 3, Nemish Fordia. And now, going to battle phase, rear guard to Vanguard, that's 16k, no guard, gonna take it. Here it comes. Ow! Damage, Damage check. Keel trigger! Alright! I give... Hmm... All effects to the Arrestor Messiah on my left. Gotta preserve my rear guards. Now, here comes the Vanguard. 18k! Four friends in the field. No guard, gonna take it. Twin drive, first check. No trigger, great two. And second check. No trigger, great three. Safe, so just one damage. Here it comes. Light rings down, paw prints, and. Ow! Damage check. No trigger, destiny dealer. Now the final attack of the turn. Melty attacks the Vanguard, 18k. Hmm. I guess I'll let the attack go for two, no guard. Here it comes. Ow! Damage. Damage check. No trigger, great two. So that's about it for my opponent's turn. Now it's my turn. Stand and draw. I ride from the right deck, Alter Ego Messiah. For the right deck cost, I'm discarding. Hmm. I have two copies of Alter Ego and a great three as well. So discarding Alter Ego from my hand. And here we go. Ride Alter Ego from my right deck. Next up. Stride phase. I'm gonna stride this turn. Genesis Dragon, Amnesty Messiah. For the stride cost, I'm discarding Astrolabe Dragon. Since it's skilled, lets me draw an extra card. Discarding Astrolabe, and here it goes. Stride the Generation, Amnesty Messiah. First up, Astrolabe skill. Drawing one card, and draw. Yes, Destiny Dealer. Next up, Activating Awaking Messiah skill. From the Soul Superior Call to the Rear Guard. Over here to the back row, behind my right side arrestor. Soul Charge. And now, Alter Ego Stride skill. Counter Blast 1. Locking one rear guard, I'm gonna lock Awaking Messiah. And gonna lock one of my opponent's rear guards. I lock. The Great 2, Hat Pop and Stellar Melty. Lock. Power up to the Vanguard. Now, I'm gonna activate Destiny Dealer's skill, discarding from hand. And I'm gonna return Alter Ego Messiah from my drop zone to the hand. There we go. And next, I call Sacrifice Messiah to the back row. Main phase done, now let's go to the battle phase. First up, my right side Arrestor Messiah attacks the Vanguard. 
skill activated. Generation break one plus 5,000 power. 15k to the vanguard. He tackles through and boom, one damage. Damage check. No trigger, safe. Perfect guard, one less card to worry about. Messiah skill, lock after attacking, lock. Now, arrest your messiah on the left, unboosted, attacks the vanguard. Skill activated, generation break one, plus 5,000 power. That's 15k to 13k. She guards of a Regashina, grade two, the attack is blocked. And here we go, after attacking, my arrest your messiah skill, lock itself, and Luck! And now, boosted by Sacrifice Messiah, Amnesty Messiah attacks the Vanguard, 41,000 power, and skill of Amnesty. I'm gonna Counter Blast 1, Counter Blast, flip one card in the G-Zone face up, flipping Exlux Messiah, and unlock as many cards as I want. I choose to unlock all the rear guards on my field. Unlock! As we stand, now, giving power to the left side arrest the messiah 28k next activating awaking messiah skill when unlocked i give a unit in the same column plus 10,000 power giving it to the right side arrest the messiah and i'm not gonna activate the other unit skills skipping the attack goes through triple drive first check no trigger, perfect guard, not bad. Second check. No trigger, another claw, and third check. No trigger, great two, but the attack still goes through, so... Boom! Damage check. No trigger, six damage, I win! Huh, that was a pretty okay match. I got to try out the cards in this deck and use them pretty well, so I got... Win, attack 40,000 more power, one of the six turns, drew an over trigger, did a superior call, and drew three more times in one turn. And leaving the fight, returning to the fight menu, and leaving fight menu, back to main menu, and back to the main menu, on to edit deck menu. And of that, the deck's been built, card effects explained, and I just finished testing the deck out in front of you. So, first I want to say is, thank you to the viewers for watching today's video, and to Please stay tuned for more videos I plan to upload again in the near future. I also hope you all show support by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my videos and channel. And at that I say, goodbye and see you.